Traumatic asphyxia. Traumatic asphyxia, also known as mask echomotique, all of your syndrome, or Pertus syndrome, is a condition that results from severe external compression of the chest. This life-threatening condition is commonly observed in situations involving heavy chest compression, such as motor vehicle accidents and industrial incidents. It can also occur during crowd crush events or when an individual is subjected to forceful restraint. Mechanism the mechanism behind traumatic asphyxia involves an external force compressing the thoracic cavity, which leads to a significant increase in venous pressure. This compression not only obstructs airflow, but also causes insufficient tissue oxygenation. As a result, blood flows retrograde through the superior vena cava. The elevated venous pressure manifests in two primary ways, cyanosis and altered consciousness. Key Clinical Signs The clinical presentation of traumatic asphyxia is characterized by several distinctive signs. Cyanosis, particularly noticeable on the face and neck, is a hallmark of this condition. Patients often exhibit conjunctival hemorrhage and edema, a condition known as chemosis. Petechiae, which appear as small red or purple spots, are typically observed on the face and upper body. Additionally, Edema and congestion of the head are common findings. Neurological signs are also prevalent, with patients frequently experiencing confusion or loss of consciousness. Respiratory distress is another key indicator, manifesting as dyspnea, tachypnea, or in severe cases, apnea. An interesting clinical sign is the brazier sign where areas of the body covered by tight-fitting clothing are spared from the characteristic discoloration. Uncommon signs and symptoms. While less frequent, several other signs and symptoms may be present in cases of traumatic asphyxia. These include exophthalmus, bulging of the eyes, retinal hemorrhages that can lead to visual loss, and vitreous hemorrhagic exudates a condition known as Percher's retinopathy. Some patients may develop retrobulbar hemorrhages or hemotympanum, which can result in hearing loss. In severe cases, seizures or cerebral venous infarction may occur. Management. The management of traumatic asphyxia focuses on addressing the immediate life-threatening issues and preventing further complications. Airway management is paramount and intubation may be necessary to ensure a clear airway. Oxygen supplementation is crucial to address hypoxia. It's essential to thoroughly assess and address any associated injuries, such as pneumothorax or rib fractures. In some cases, surgical intervention may be required to relieve pressure or repair damage caused by the initial trauma. Early recognition. Early detection of traumatic asphyxia is crucial for improving patient outcomes. Healthcare providers should maintain a high index of suspicion in cases involving blunt chest trauma. The presence of facial petechiae and cyanosis are key indicators that should prompt immediate evaluation. Rapid assessment of airway compromise and hypoxia is essential in these cases, as timely intervention can be life-saving. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.